Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. The client names are encrypted. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? 
Yep, another car David was tracking. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. That's definitely Chloe's car. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel? I don't know. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Start hacking. Oops, bad code. You locked it, dumbass. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal.
Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> 